Hi, this is Dr. Bernstein with another session of Dr. Bernstein's Diabetes University. Uh, this time we're going to examine the question of why people in authority are distor distorting the results of scientific studies to make it seem that normal blood sugars are to be avoided in diabetes. Uh, in particular, we're going to talk this time about the ACCORD trial, A-C-C-O-R-D. Um, let's see if we could figure out what that stands for. Um, action to control cardiovascular risk in diabetes. Now, this was a study that was reported in the ADA journals in 2010. The citation to the study appears at the bottom of the screen uh, as published in the journal it came to the conclusion that when they tried to improve blood sugars, not to normalize them, but get A1Cs down to uh, 6 or below, under 7 certainly, um, that they were increasing mortality. Uh, it's interesting that I ran into one of the doctors who was cited as an author to the study, and she told me that the group of them, there were, there were a number of them, uh, were called into a room, uh, told what the conclusions of the study were going to be, and uh, had some discussion, and no change was made based upon the input of the practitioners in the study, the doctors who participated in the study, uh, even though they disagreed with the conclusions. Uh, so the conclusions were frozen in without their approval and came to the conclusion that lowering blood sugar does not help cardiac disease. And as was published, well, uh, a press release then came out by the uh, made by the American Diabetes Association saying that uh, improving blood sugar may help eyes, nerves, and kidneys, but it certainly doesn't help the heart. By the way, the study was only about three and a half years, so it was not a long-term study uh, that uh, would usually be necessary if you wanted to uh, prevent cardiovascular disease. Anyway, uh, one of the participants in the study came up with an analysis of the data that was quite different from the ADA's analysis. And if you read the study carefully, you will see that his analysis was far more correct. And this is what he says. Uh, published in the same issue of the journal Diabetes Care, but at the end of the issue, where you'll only get to it if you're exhausted from reading everything else, if, if you're not exhausted from reading everything else. Overall, they found no evidence to suggest that lower average A1C was associated with higher mortality, as would have been expected if hypoglycemia had been the cause of death. Now, the ADA conclusion, of course, was just the opposite of what the data said. In fact, a higher mortality rate was observed in both the intensive and standard therapy arms for individuals with a higher average and average and last recorded A1C. In other words, if the last A1C in the study was high or if the average A1C was high, those are the patients who died. The patients with A1Cs at the low end were the ones who survived. So the study, even though it was something like three and a half years long, was not very long, uh, did demonstrate that lowering the A1C uh, provides 
cardiac be benefits. Now, this Accord study, because of the erroneous press release by the ADA, uh, and that's what hit the newspapers, uh, we have endocrinologists, regular doctors, all kinds of people concluding that low A1Cs uh, are bad for the heart and, that, and, they, and are to be avoided. Now, why do you think erroneous conclusions were drawn? Are there any benefits to anybody by drawing erroneous conclusions? I can think of two. I can't say that the erroneous conclusions were deliberately made, but I can say that they benefit two classes of uh, individuals. One class would be companies that make or sell medications for treating the, di the complications of diabetes, uh, especially for treating heart disease. If you will advocate higher blood sugars, cause more heart disease, which is what the study showed, you're going to sell more uh, drugs for hypertension, drugs for treating uh, uh, coagulation, um, probably dozens of different drugs will uh, have Im improved sales by uh, f making the hearts worse in diabetics. So if you go for high blood sugars, cause heart disease, you'll generate more business. But you'll also generate millions of dollars in advertising for these drugs for publications uh, earmarked for diabetes, uh, such as the publications of the ADA. There's another class of individuals who benefit from uh, high, high blood sugars in diabetics. Those who do not know how to control blood sugar and who continue to advocate high, blood, high, uh, high uh, carbohydrate diets and industrial doses of medications like insulin. These people put themselves at great risk for someone dying of hypoglycemia because they're giving supraphysiologic doses of insulin. And uh, as I've been told by a number of big shots in the field, look, I treat thousands of diabetics. Uh, if they were all to go blind or die of congestive heart failure or have their legs amputated, those are natural consequences of the disease. And such a person will say to me, blood sugars have nothing to do with it. Uh, but if one person out of, say, 2,000 or 3,000 dies of hypoglycemia, I get sued. Not me, but the guy who's talking. Uh, so there are doctors who are not treating diabetes in a knowledgeable way who are at risk for getting sued for causing hypo, uh, hypoglycemic death uh, if, uh, from high carbohydrate diets or the uh, industrial doses of insulin they use, uh, those people are at risk too. So by drawing the wrong conclusion from a study, you can make their lives easier, justify their giving people very high blood sugars, and of course, if you have a blood sugar that's three times normal, uh, you have much lower risk of hypoglycemia. Well, I, that's not quite true because studies have been done showing that there are as many major hypoglycemic episodes uh, for people with high A1Cs as with low A1Cs. So it's a myth that you're gonna be doing them any benefit. But all in all, uh, this study being repeatedly misquoted is hurting people and probably killing people. Uh, I just had a medical education tape today by a noted authority uh, supposedly giving me monthly uh, training uh, 
so I could maintain all my licenses. And uh, he's telling me that blood sugar control is of no value to the heart, only the eyes and the kidneys and the nerves. So that's basically the story. Well, thanks for listening, and we'll see you the next session. Uh, before you sign off from this session of Diabetes University, take a look at my book, Diabetes Solution, which uh, you can view at the site listed below, or you can purchase from any online bookstore. Also, visit my monthly seminars, teleseminars, uh, the site for getting these free seminars is listed below. Um, you can also uh, join the Diabetes Forum where you can ask questions to other diabetics who have read my book and have been using it. And one last thing is if you go to the teleseminar, you can ask questions which I will answer, uh, if not the same month that you ask the question, uh, within a month or two thereof. Thanks.